Tanya, you know, as we've been reporting for days now, the price of a life-saving EpiPen has skyrocketed this year, putting people with severe allergic reactions like children at risk. Well, now Congress is getting involved, and we're learning about some alternatives to these very costly injections. Heather Bretsch may be one of the most despised people in America right now. She's the $18 million a year CEO of the drug manufacturer Mylan, which has raised the price of life-saving EpiPens 400% in recent years. I think it's a crime because this is a life-saving drug. Holly Laner is struggling to pay for EpiPens for her school-aged children in northern Kentucky. So I have two children who both have allergies, and for me to prescribed the six EpiPens that they needed, it was $3,000. She ended up buying just half of the pens prescribed for 1000 bucks, and is hoping she can find another option soon. Now, it turns out there are some alternatives available, because after all, EpiPens weren't around 30 years ago. Unfortunately, they're not for everyone. Our partners at Consumer Reports Magazine say doctors can prescribe another kind of auto-injector that can cost hundreds of dollars less. For a lot less money, the epinephrine auto-injector, also called generic adrenoclick, uses the exact same drug in the exact same dosing as EpiPen. Some patients now cut costs even more by filling manual syringes with epinephrine themselves. But this can be dangerous and cannot be done in schools. I cannot. Or would I feel safe with them carrying a syringe like that? So for now, Holly is paying $600 a kit for something that was just 50 bucks less than a decade ago. Meantime, several members of Congress tonight are demanding a better explanation for the soaring price of those EpiPens and may ask Milan's top execs to come explain themselves in Washington, D.C.